an instructor can use this Moodle trick, Moodle Stealth Activities, to link to activities located in different section of a Moodle course. Instructors can create activities or resources and make them available, but hidden from students, and then link to those activities or resources. Using these stealth activities can help organize and design a Moodle course with less scrolling for students. Let's take a look at an example of stealth activities as a student. In my Moodle course, I see a book and some other activities and resources from my instructor. If I click on this book, I can scroll through the content, and on the second page, I have a link to take a quiz. When I click on that link, I'll immediately open the quiz and be able to take it meaning that it is then sort of connected to the content that the instructor wanted me to see, instead of being a pulled out activity that would appear on the main page. Let's look at how the instructor set that up. As an instructor, here's my view of that same section of a Moodle course. I also see the book, but I see the quiz that I created located as its own activity right below the book, because that's where I put it, but it says to me as the instructor, available but not shown on course page. And that's the setting we want to be able to get the link to put somewhere else. So let's take a look at where that is. I'm going into this quiz and I'm going into the settings for the quiz. Almost all of the activities in Moodle have something a setting called common module settings. And one of the options is make available but not shown on course page. If you select that option, then when you click into the activity that you've made available but not shown on course page, you can copy the URL to that activity and then paste it as a link elsewhere. So if I go back into the book that we already had as an example and I edit a page in the book, I can take a piece of content or text, highlight it, and create a link, and link to that quiz that's in another section of Moodle. That way students will be able to go directly to that quiz as a built-in segment of my content. Another use of stealth activities is specific to using H5P interactive activities. In this case, in my student view, I have these types of Moodle activities, but then I also have interactively placed directly in the course view an H5P question that I can answer. This is also a stealth activity because I don't see the actual H5P activity that would look like one of these blocks anywhere else in the course. If I switch over to the instructor role, I can scroll all the way down to the bottom of the course, and actually, here's where that H5P activity is. So I have a section in which I've put a series of stealth activities that are linked elsewhere, and this is what the H5P activity looks like, but I've marked it available but not shown on course page. Because I wanted to embed that elsewhere in the course, I click on that H5P, and what I need to do is copy this embed code that is part of the H5P interactive activity. Then I can go into a page or book, a different section of my course, and that could be a label like this sample or as part of a page. So I'm going to put it in this page to show how that works. So imagine that I have some content and then I want a built-in question. I can click on settings, go into my content, and remember that I want that interactive activity to be embedded right above topic one. I'm gonna expand my editor, and then I'm going to click on the embed code button or HTML button. Now I can see the code view. I don't have to know what that is. I find topic one right here, and then above that, I'm going to paste in the code that I copied over from my stealth H5P activity. I can click back on the embed HTML button, and now I'll see how that is embedded directly in that page. 
So now if I go down to save and display to take a look at what that looks like, that activity will be directly embedded, but students will not have to see it take up a lot of space on the main part of the page. Use Stealth Mode via Common Module Settings to link to activities, connect activities like quizzes to content, and reduce scrolling in your Moodle course. Find additional resources in the description of this video.